incredibly important for Mindfreak to come out of the gate, out of the break, with a good result here. Because going down 2-0, and zero, okay, that's awful. That's not what you want to be at. That's not at all where you want to be. But you've had your break. You've had your time to have a bit of a chat. This is where things can turn around. And quite frankly, this is where it has to turn around as well for Mindfreak. I'm wholeheartedly with Stratus on the go fast strategy. And then it looks like both the teams have listened up because they've got the Lucio, the Moira as the supports, the quickest supports you can get. Yeah. With the Reaper and the May, it is the death ball composition. Favoured order so far. What's that halftime speak been like for Mind Freak though? Has it given them the advantage they need? Well, we're going to kick this one off with four minutes on the clock. Already almost 30 seconds gone. Mind Freak coming out on attacks. We'll go wow. the first one down. That is not the start that they wanted. No, not at all. Mind Freak, they'll be getting a bit of deja vu towards the last map. And hopefully their mental is... is blossoming now because they've had time off. They've had to talk to their coaches and their support staff. Yeah. They need to turn it around. Once again, a really nice May wall out there from Yuki, which sort of sets that one up. All it takes is one pick for order to force Mind Freak back. This is a good pathing correction, though. You can't keep going the same way every time versus yeah. the May. Even having a split is handy, and this forces a new decision for Yuki. Mind Freak will take the high ground. Oh, there no. we go. Fast caught up as he is signed right now. Looking for some damage sign. The first one down going down to his counterpart. Orgus Mind Freak now with an opportunity. It is a very long run back here to the defenders as well. Mind Freak need to make the most of the time that they have. Still not onto the objective. Pushing forward finally. We can see a change coming up from Sign as well, oh, Jordanation down, Adam almost going down as well, Yuki low, Mind Freak G coming through with the coalescence and Objective A. Oh. Finally starting to see some signs of life here from Mind Freak and I think this is more so what we were hoping for out of the boys in blue. It certainly is and we have seen Sign swap over to that Symmetra so it looks like whenever they're playing this Reaper they're looking to for the Symmetra for Sign. It is very high damage in short range and it shreds that Orisa shield. And you can use her to get your mates back with that teleporter. Mm. But he's, it's a fresh swap, so he's not going to have that ultimate. The only ultimate on the field for Auto is Yuki's mail. Now just getting Quartz as Orisa ult. Will they invest ultimates here, or will they just try and reset and take a fight at a more advantage, advantageous position? Alrighty, we can see that the payload moving slowly forward. Supercharger will be used here by Quartz, along with Jordation and that Coalescence. It's a very strong healing and damage beam. Orchid's going to be the first casualty as well. Mind Freak, probably okay to lose this deal of fight, but we might need to find the way back onto the payload, which is in a less than ideal uh, position. No, this is the perfect position for Order to stop this payload. The Symmetra wall can get massive value in this point of the map, because there is no way. He can just put it straight up and, and down, and that's a lot of damage it blocks. I don't think they'd have the damage on Mind Freak to break it. Well, what Never. you'll notice here, though, is that Mind Freak didn't invest any ultimates into that last fight, while Order did. The economy looking a lot more comfortable for Mind Freak here. And this is essentially a must win fight. Here comes the self destruct looking for damage. Sound barrier comes through. The exploding Diva Bomb finds no one this time around. But the rest of Mind Freak, all remaining five players, will have ultimate charge. Orgus Knights come through with the supercharger sign. Goes down to Aki as well. Yuki goes down. Nice work. It's only going to be Adam who's picked up as well. No uh, self destruct used in this fight. Mind Freak, take it away. Jump onto the payload and head towards the next very, objective. Very importantly there, they didn't overinvest on Mind Freak. They still have great ultimates coming into the next phase. They still have the May ult the, and the two support ults. That's going to be pivotal in cutting in half this May, uh, this uh, Symmetra wall. Order, they don't have many offensive ults into this fight. Adam's bomb has to be a big one. Will they go for the TP bomb again? I hope they will. Well, they've been trying it at least a couple of times on Nepal. We'll see whether or not it works out it's this time. Again. Here it comes! Is it oh gonna my goodness! No, no. That could have been absolutely huge. Using the self-destruct in combination with the teleport to get into the back lines. Instead, we're going to be seeing Order still do damage here, just with literally every other ability. Quats has gone down, Jordation down now to August 9th. The payload gets Getting closer, less than one meter to the next objective. If they hit this one, they get more time. Successful, four minutes now on the clock. It's a lot of times going to the next phase. Ultimates are pretty dry on both sides of the field. Order, they're going to need to win the next fight or they're going to face a big time bank. And Kings Row can be one of those maps where you get snowballed very easily in this phase. August taking some high ground control already. His death loss one is getting close. And if we can disable, well, if Mind Freak can disable May, then. May and uh, Diva, he can get big value off that as we've seen in the regular season. Yeah, looking for the Blizzard comes Yuki, drops it down on the floor. It seems to be a decent one, yeah. forcing Mind Freak back just a bit. And now the D-Mech across onto Kiki. 
with Addy going down there, that will probably be the end of Mind Freak's attack. Hunter finds Vass as well. They'll need to regroup still. Plenty of time on the clock. Heaps of time banks for Mind Freak G to work with. But order as this payload gets closer to their spawn room, it will get easier and easier for them to defend. You can see they are starting to get that ultimate charge as yeah, well. Yeah, again, Mind Freak takes the dry fight. They didn't invest anything there. They managed to get a few ultimates out of order. Signed already building up another wall with that Symmetra. That's so much damage blocked. The, the Adam Diva Bomb not going to be online for this fight. It's going to be Mind Freak favored if August can find a position to get Blossom off. Order right now, you can see sitting on four ultimates, the same for Mind Freak. Supercharge, you're going to start off. There's a self destruct coming through. Might find some plays. Takes them low, but Anta with an absolutely epic beat. Shields for his team. Saves the day. Still six alive as the Symmetra wall goes up, splitting the two teams into two different halves. But Order are going to come out with another fight win. It's a whole lot of noise for a whole lot of nothing. Order, they'll like the fact that they didn't have to overcommit there. They're going to have to mail off the next fight. They're also the Diva Bomb. I want to see them get this Diva Bomb off with the Teleporter. They've tried it twice and it's come up a bit short. Well, here comes the halt through from Order, trying to make something happen. Blizzard now goes down, but it's from Mind Freak. And Order all oh, stuck in it. Oh, oh yeah. August Knight comes through, finds three, three huge picks. There's the fourth, Anta goes down. Jordation is staggered. Adam going to be trying to get back into this one absolutely as quickly as possible. The payload ever closer to the third and final objective. The one minute 40 on the clock. They will wall them off. That makes it very hard to get around. Could not have gone any worse. Finally, they get onto the point. The beat is dropped by, by Mind Freak. Yuki Wei can get this blizzard off. He does, but he doesn't survive too much longer past that August, starting to come into his own here on King's Row, finds a second on sign, but unfortunately the numbers are dropping for Mind Freak as well, so what should have been yeah. their victory fanfare is now falling by the wayside. Coalescence from Jordation, just hosing everyone down and securing the point to try and keep order in this game. Now 60 seconds remains on the clock, and order clean Mind Freak right up. Sign swaps to the Doomfist, but he's going straight back to that Symmetra. It has worked. Mind Freak haven't figured out how to take on this Symmetra just yet. She seems to be getting the best of August. August has had brilliant moments so far, but we need more consistency from him. Aki with that Coalescence is going to be pivotal in this fight, but Adam's Diva Bomb as well as Unser's Sound Barrier. He's been good with those so far this series. Alrighty, looking for a pretty good Coalescence here coming out from Aki as well. There's not much else for Mind Freak G to work with. Order on the other hand. They still have Adam with the self-destruct. Coalescence comes through. It both heals and damages players. Self-destruct now from Adam looking for picks. It is unsuccessful. Beat is dropped. Shields for everyone on Order's team once again. Anta getting another uh, ultimate very, very quickly. Supercharger coming through. August finds another. Here we go. Just waiting for it as well. Just going to relocate himself. Self-destruct is on the point as well. It'll get rid of the main wall. And now, down comes the Death Blossom. This should be Mind Freak to push it over the line. It's in overtime, but they will get the map finished. Order investing the beat drop there and the Symmetra wall and getting no value off it as August just waited out the cooldowns and ran Rampage through them. Bit of a misplay there from Order. That's that unforced error we were talking about. And Mind Freak, after the break, they've taken full advantage of it. Yeah, very nicely done from Mind Freak. That is the confidence boost you, they needed. Look at their faces right there. They are smiles all around. Still, we always talk about these kinds of maps being a tale of two sides. Yes. And while that is good for Mind Freak, they will be thinking, hey, we could have finished that one off quicker. Is that going to come back and bite them here? And how strong is Order going to be on the attack? Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves because while that was good for Mind Freak, we still have yet to see what Order has for us. Yeah, you never. You, the old saying is, a pitch is only. You only know how good a pitch is after both teams have battered on it. And Order now on the attack. They've shown to be very aggressive so far in this grand final. They've been going very fast and aggressive. So I don't think they'll be too worried about capping out this map. It can be a map you can get stalled on in some tricky mm. spots where the spawns do favour the defenders. Mind Freak managed to avoid those and cap out the map. Sad that they didn't get much time or any time at all but still a massive improvement from the previous two maps. Yeah, absolutely. Now, the thing to keep in mind here is if both teams manage to get the payload all the way through to the final objective, they get to go again. You take a look at the time bank, you can see that Mind Freak did it only in that overtime situation. So, 
Uh, if Order can do it quicker than them, they're going to have a much greater opportunity to come away with the victory. For me, Elfish Guy, if Mind Freak picked this back up, they are back in this game. If they lose, they're out. Absolutely, especially considering Escort is coming up next, which again has shown a tendency to be a weaker map for Order. You win here on King's Row, you go into Escort, look likely to pick that one up, could be at two apiece, and then we've got a real game on our hands. We do indeed. All right, the teams roll out. Mind Freak now on the defensive side. Order on the attacking side. You can see that big icy May wall trying to split the Mind Freak team in half. And already, Order is on to the point. This is incredibly good positioning for Order. They'll love to be here. Getting the point capture already ticking up. They've, they've guessed the wrong way. There's no going to be a no Arista children. Already, they're getting exposed and Quops is going low. They are indeed. Mind Freak in a bit of trouble right now. Order in prime position. They're two thirds of the way through looking to guarantee that second tick, Aki. but Aki comes through, huge coalescence just in the nick of time, Fine signs with the damage, heals the rest of the team, great angles for him, will save the day. Oh, Mind Freak have held on long enough there, it was looking disastrous wasn't it Smash, the positioning so good for Order, they get a tick on the board, they force Mind Freak into them, but yet that coalescence comes up just in time for Aki, he finds the pick. And Mind Freak will survive on point A with only one tick loss, which admittedly is not too bad. A small error from Quads there, placing his shield before the enemy appeared, meant that there was a free opening for Mind Freak to just run in and do so much damage. And that was the thing that turned the fight around. Zion, no shield to play around. When his Wraith form runs out, he's very vulnerable. Yuki's low. Here we go. Quite low. Supercharger comes through. Blizzard available as well. The Hulk comes through. Oh, self destruct for Mind Freak. And oh my goodness, Bath loses that one very, very quickly. Blizzard in the middle, everyone's going to get frozen. It's going to be more difficult to move. Jordation doing work. What Yuki sign? All frozen as well. But it's Mind Freak who is losing players. Order with the closest spawn this time around. I think they are going to seal the deal. Yeah, Kiki's bomb went straight into the Maywall there. Quick reactions from the old man, Yuki. Meant that there was no value offered. They were able to push in straight away after that. Order still with ultimates to go as well. Swilko committed the sound barrier that fight and didn't get any aggression off it. So that means that Mind Freak, they're a little bit of a disadvantage going into this next fight, especially if Sign can get into a good position, which he looks like, he looks like he's creeping around the alleys now. You do have to remember that at this point, Mind Freak is doing a little better on their defense than Order did. Order was not able to hold Mind Freak for too long on point A, where Mind Freak did at least hold for one fight. Sign. Come through with the death lot and looks to find some picks. Only gets August. Looks for another. It's actually Quartz on to bus. Order once again. They are not having any troubles here on the payload. The first fight will go to them. That is such a free fight win too. Sign catching August off guard, getting the death loss and kill, and that means that the damage output from Mind Freak is just muted. Issue is here for Mind Freak. We've talked about it pretty extensively in that break. Once Order gets that momentum going, once yep. they're on a roll, they don't give it up too easily. And it's so easy to keep that momentum going on a map like this. If Mind Freak don't hold them here at point B, we may see Order run over. self destructing Coalescence is going to be used by Order. No one goes down just yet. Arthur oh, down what? to August. Not, I don't even know how he got there. Great work by August. We'll start pushing Order back. We were almost certain that Order would get through Objective B, but Mind Freak G, they say not today. And that's the intuition we've seen from August play all the, all of his DPS heroes. They go so well. As soon as he sees that bomb thrown out for Adam, he knows that TP animation. He can get that off, get into their back line, and there's no defense matrix to protect those supports. Hunter, lucky for him, he didn't try and drop the sound barrier, otherwise he would have lost that one. It's a big sigh of relief for Mind Freak, but where does it leave them for this next coming fight? Not a lot available. Kiki imperative with the self-destruct as Order. Look to flank around the side. Yeah, Order around the outside, around the outside. Supercharger comes through. Blizzard available. Self-destruct as well. Looking for picks. Again, unsuccessful. The beat has been dropped by Unter once more. Shield for all of Order. That makes them much tankier, much more likely to survive the fight. Sign. Still sitting on this Death Blossom and probably will not even need to use it. Again, the threat of the Matrix removed by Kiki throwing in the Diva Bomb. The wall comes up and out goes the Freeze. That means that there's no Matrix to eat the Freeze. There's no peel, there's no stopping order from just running at you. Some questionable Diva Bomb decision making so far in this series, but oh, I don't know. I think that Mind Freak, they might be unnerving a little bit now, going in with a big time bank to stop. With 3 minutes 30 on the clock, Order could finish this with time to spare. 
They could just as easily finish it with no time to spare as well. This tends to be the part of the map where things stall up the most. Though Sign oh, may have something to this. say about that. He's been spotted. Oh, oh, spotted. Nice work from Swilpro. We'll spot him out. It means it's a little bit more difficult to get in there with his big Death Blossom ultimate that does damage all around the Reaper. Shields come up. Wall comes up as well. Mindbrick sitting on a ton of ultimates. This is going to be a tough nut to crack. Certainly as Bus drops his Supercharger down, but Order will continue to push on forward. And we're looking for Sign with the Death Blossom. So far, no real damage to come from it. No, a Death Blossom into a very beefy uh, team right now. Sign pots under all go down. Oh. Mind Freak coming out with the goods this time around. Two minutes 40 on the clock, however, and Mind Freak has used almost everything in their deck. And the Symmetra Swap comes in now. They feel this is the moment. The close range favoritism almost for this third point means that the Symmetra's going to be able to charge a beam up very quickly and output more damage than that Reaper can, breaking the shield faster, leaving the side of Mind Freak vulnerable to damage. Well, once again, August is going to be very sneaky big. He has had some good death blossoms yeah. so far. The Digger Wolf's got out too. Well, look at that. Once more, this time it's going to be August coming through. They play to the left, they play to the right, and one side will win. Mind Freak coming through with the goods. We're seeing this pattern emerging with yeah. these diva bombs come yeah. out. As soon as it is, the Reapers are swooping. Well, August is waiting for it. He hears that go straight out. He's like, great, no one can stop me now. I'm going to dive onto your back line. See you later, Order. Now a minute and 50, and it feels like a long time ago that we were saying Order might finish this one with time. It's still possible, but that yeah. is dwindling away. It Just is very, very quickly running oh, away Swirko. here. And Swarko goes down. That's a big pick. Supercharger comes through. Teleport available up on the top side as well. Sign with essentially free reign onto this Mind Freak team. This was the play that Order needed. Unter drops the beat once more. Order have used almost all of their ultimates here. Jordation getting close. But finally, they get this payload moving. A beat drop there from Unter. He'll probably want that one back. He heard a mail go out and drop the beat instinctively. But it was his own teammates. Oh, no. He needs to have that for the finishing off this. There's big ultimates coming up for the side of Mind Freak. That supercharger from Bus, if it goes unchecked, it will allow them to do so much damage and shred this, this order. It'll allow August to build that Death Blossom up as well. Self Destruct goes in the back line from Kiki. Mind Freak oh, are holding no. strong. And order are not interested. It's a reset time. Yep. This is, uh, this is going to be very, very close. If Order do manage to cap this point out, it could be with no time left on the clock. Mind Freak getting an opportunity to sort of set themselves up prime position for one last shot on defense. Order, they've got one last shot to get back onto the payload, and let's see what Sign can do. It's going to have to be an outplay here. Two big offensive ults from Mind Freak. Nothing to answer from the side of Order. Sign's wall is the only thing they have. It doesn't really seem like it's going to be too helpful full for them at the moment. We'll see what Sign is going to be able to do with it. Cuts the point in half, but what is the answer from Mind Freak? August again! Oh, He's wow. unkind by Adam! This time, there is no Diva Bomb. Adam there to save the day. Nine seconds on the clock. This one's heading to head into overtime. Where's August it? swaps it back. Where's Adam it needs to get onto the point. And oh my goodness, it will not be successful. Bomb from Adam might be enough. We'll go down. One for one trade. August finds one. He goes down himself. Sign finds two. Big plays coming out right now. Certainly here from Sign. Will it be enough to get this through in overtime? Well, my answer, Ben, unfortunately, for Mind Freak is going to be yes. Order should be able to push this one through. Bus comes back onto the point on the wrecking ball, but he's frozen in place. And you can see all of Mind Freak swapping over, trying to get back to this point, but it's not going to happen. Order have secured overtime. And I said they needed an outplay going into that fight, and the king steps up. Little Adam, he's been the best diva for such a long time in Australia, just showing his worth there, shutting down the Death Blossom, shutting down the Mayol. What a little superstar he's become. Certainly has. I remember back in the day, I don't even know how old he was. He doesn't look old now. He certainly wasn't old then, and he was great even a few years ago. So to see him up, up on stage today, potentially succeeding, is, is a very rewarding experience now. Both teams have been successful the first time around. We're going to add 60 seconds back onto the clock for both teams, and they get to try again. There are very few second chances the second time around. You've got to remember, in these kinds of positions, order are the ones that tend to come away with the victories. They've had those tiebreakers. They've had those overtimes. They've done it before. They've done it on stages before. This is where Mind Freak are going to start to feel the pressure again. This map was theirs to lose, mm. and yet... 
back here in overtime and Order are still plugging away. Who's going to blink? Who's going to change composition? Will Mind Freak second guess themselves and think they're going to come up against the Symmetra, change to something, and then waste too much time? It looks like it's just going to be the Reaper compositions or the Mirror, which has favoured Order still. Orga swapping over to the Hanzo. I like to see that. Trust him. Yeah, let's see how this plays out. Mind Freak on attack, Order on defense, 60 seconds on the clock. You probably only get to lose about two fights here if you're very, very careful. So you need to make both of them count. 45 seconds now, Mind Freak making up their minds which way till we go. They're using up all of their time. Lots of hesitation here and the indecision can cost you in these moments. Great little wall. Both teams now coming through, 30 seconds on the clock. They're only going to get one fight out of this one. Fast words. How's that happen? It's reset time straight away for Mind Freak. They do at least have 20 seconds on the clock here to get back into Kiki's that get point. But staggered again. That is not good. That DMEC, how is this happening? Yeah, this is very much less than ideal for Mind Freak. It didn't even feel like they got a shot. 10 seconds now remains. They're going to have to race back all to the objective. Well, he was on Widowmaker for a second. Has one back over to Reaper. They need to get this touch. They need to make this fight happen. Oh, and the May Wall comes up as well. Swooko goes down. He was the fastest of the heroes. You'll see the touch coming through from Addy. But it means that the rest of the team will dawdle across. Staggered one by one. The Supercharger comes through, and that one will seal the deal. Mind Freak won't get a tick at all. And now it's going to be their turn to defend. The indecision on the parting cripples their offense there. They're unable to get anything. Best case scenario for them now is that draw, yeah. and they need it. Going into the next map, they can't afford to be 3-0 down. No, they certainly cannot. So 60 seconds now for Order to attack. If they get one tick on the point, the point is split into three thirds, each of 33%. If they get 33% of the objective, they win the map. If they fail to achieve that, we'll find a draw and in this first to four uh, game type, it's not, it's not a best of seven, it's a first to four. That means if you do get a draw like we might see here, you essentially eliminate that result from the pool and continue on. Yeah, the map essentially does not count, and that is potentially the saving grace here for Mind Freak. Again, considering that the next map type has been their favored map huh. type. This nice. is... They did say this is their best map though in the pool and to come out with a draw as a result isn't a great sign as we see the boys spinning that board around. That's where all the strats are, Smash. They're not doing a good job of reading up on it. Or barely even read. Yeah, that's true. Alrighty, here we go. About to kick this one off. Order in prime position, to be perfectly honest. They were very quick the first time around. I think they even found a third of the of the point on their first push last time also. They will be looking to do exactly the same thing right now. Yeah, Mind Freak's going to have to change the way they defend because the, before they were just happy to let Order have some space and then come back and initiate back on them. But they can't let them have the space this time. Fox is going very low already. Oh. Not a bad wall, an even better wall though from Mind Freak. We'll see the team split in two spots. The first one down. Kiki coming out with the pick, but great work as well from the main. Well, let's see how Mind Freak are going to answer for this one because Order, they're in the same position that Mind Freak were, albeit with a little bit of extra time. Now the onus is on Mind Freak. They have the advantage. They can draw this map. Ever closer, 30 seconds on the clock. Order looking for just one third of the objective. They do not even need to capture the whole thing, but they do need to win themselves the fight. Pushing through, 15 seconds left. Shields go up, shields go down now for both sides. Those will be on respawn timers also. Potentially waiting, there we go. That's the catalyst right now, that cold is oh, coming through. Great wall comes out from Addy. He's sitting on his ultimate as well. It's time to throw it out. No, doesn't even need to. There we go, onto the point, but Addy the first one down. The one for one straight. The big drop by Death Blossom once again. Here's the Death Blossom from August. Will it be enough? He gets frozen up, so it doesn't do a whole lot, but it might just be for Mind Freak. There's a self destruct in there as well. And Order, they have not managed to capture the point. It's a draw. Throw it away. Wow. Absolutely. Cannot help but feel. I agree with you entirely, Smash. This was a map that Mind Freak needed to win. It's one thing to draw when you're up, but Avril, it's another to take your best map and essentially put it in the bin.
And there's two ways to look at this, Ben, because on one end, you are kind of okay with this result because yes. you're thinking this could have been a lot worse. They could be going to the next one three down. But on the other hand, we see the capability for Mindfreak to complete a hold on that first point. And if they can do that, they could have potentially have capped at one third as well. And this would have been their map win. This should have been their map win. I saw it in regulation time and it felt like this was a better performance by Mindfreak overall. They've overcome the Symmetra for the most part. Org has had an insane performance on Kings Row in particular. I know we're in the month of September right now, but August is playing Back to the Future. Yeah, and just having a look at Mind Freak there on the player cameras, you might as well have thought that they'd won the map because Bus seemed to be quite excited with that draw. Look, at the end of the day, it is an improvement for Mind Freak, so they do have to take solace in that. Whether they can continue to push the boundaries, push the issues here against Order, does remain to be seen onto Escort, but at the very least, they've got something done today. Yeah, they certainly have, and we said that if they went into break, and they came out of break with a result that was a loss. That was going to be the end. Now, we've seen them come through. They played very well in attack. Not that poorly, to be fair, on defense. Order is a very good team. And now we head on to a map type that one that they, or at least their opponents, have been, what, 28% on win rate is not very good at all. It's a very different story. And maybe this smash, a very slow rolling, increase in success across the series we could see ourselves onto a score with with a point where we're going to go 2 1 into the break yeah the first two the first two maps of this series look very nervous for mind because they're kind of feeling it out seeing how they felt on stage and getting used to the big surroundings that there are here in the melbourne esports open and now they've seemed to have done that getting a draw is a good result for them yeah. they're getting back the momentum they'll feel they'll take more out of that draw than order will order will feel like they were robbed for not winning that one sort of the tortoise and the hare analogy isn't it right yeah. with order coming out of the gate super strong super fast they get the 2-0 on the board but now they may be having that nap underneath the tree after the draw here and well we'll see what escort ends up looking like that may be where we start to see Mind Freak drawing ahead. As long as they've got the legs to survive in this series, there is always a chance. And there's one point where I do look at this particular matchup, and I think Mind Freak are starting to succeed, and that's it. whenever they have taken Sign down first. If Sign is their first pick, they have a 100% team fight win rate. Because usually, if you go back to Paris, let's look at the ball again. Mind Freak can get a couple of opening picks, they can yeah. get those frags in early, but what happens is Sign is there to get the counter trades in, which evens the numbers up. If sign goes down first that doesn't happen and then my freaking push that advantage into a win jordan this was something we were talking about a little bit earlier on in the broadcast how this change in format from 3-3 to 2-2-2 uh, more focus on the dps players more opportunity for them to shine on an individual level and that's what we've been waiting for really from mind freak as well isn't it i mean mm. we've been talking all the time about august talking about addy and it seems strange to be shedding that kind of light on these two newer players when you've got the caliber of players like Sine and Yuki on the other side of things for that DPS yeah. roster. But yeah. having spoken to both teams, both teams felt like Mind Freak had the stronger DPS line, and that's where they can get their advantage. Only now on King's Row have we started to see that actually come into effect. Alrighty, it's now time to go and take a look at our fourth and final map type. What map will we be playing? It will be Rialto. It's an escort type map. Now, because the last map was a draw and because Mind Freak lost Paris, they get to pick again. So not only are they picking uh, from a, a map type that's in their favor, a game type that's in their favor, they get to pick the map as well. And I do expect this should be a Mind Freak victory on Rialto. Not only are we playing Escort, but this was the map on Rialto where we did see that first huge moment at yeah. last MEO. They kind of put the nail in the coffin for Order's run in that playoff as well. So this is a big opportunity yes. for Mind Freak to get back one on the board. And being a one and two and only trailing one behind is a pretty decent run so far in the Grand Finals. Well, it's time to go and learn a little bit more about the Escort map time. This is Escort. Two teams face off as either defenders or attackers. <laughs> this is the payload. The attacking team has a limited amount of time to escort the payload along a set path containing three checkpoints. The payload only moves forward when an attacker stands near it. Defenders can delay the payload's movement by standing nearby at the same time. To get moving again, attackers must clear away the defenders by force. Every time the payload reaches a checkpoint, the attackers score one point and gain additional time on the clock. If even one attacker is near the payload when the clock runs out, 
the game enters overtime. This extends play indefinitely until the attackers are either cleared off the payload or they gain more time by reaching a checkpoint. The round ends when the payload reaches the destination or when time runs out. Teams switch sides each round. Whichever team scores the most points and escorts the payload farthest wins. All righty, let's head to the beautiful streets of Rialto, our escort map type. And this one surely goes in favor of Mind Freak. To me, Jordan, this is potentially the most important map of the series. Yeah, well, let's not count our chickens before they hatch. We've definitely been saying a lot of good things about Mind Freak, and we've been seeing a lot of good things from Mind Freak on escort maps. Rialto has a 100% win rate for them during the regular season, and not only that, Order have actually not won a single map of Rialto this season either. So you look at all that on paper and you say, great, Mind Freak, they should be getting their first map on the board here. But as we have seen in the past, the stats don't always tell the whole truth and Order may well find their first win of the season in, as you say, the most important map of this series. Yeah, Rialto has been a bit of a boogie map for Order. They haven't won it this season and they've had horrible experiences on stage on it. Looks like Mindfreak have changed and adjusted their strategy a little bit more, focusing more on signed. It is a strategy that teams have employed throughout the years on teams that have had signed on it. Trying to get into his head, get him a bit more, a bit more cautious, because when he's unleashed and he's running around, he's not going to miss. He's very good when he's confident. But if you put doubt in his head, sometimes he can go a bit quiet and disappear. He certainly is now. The escort game type is very similar to what we saw before, but there's no point to capture. You just start on the payload and push it through your multiple objectives. We will see Mind Freak starting off now on attack. They're on the payload pushing for Addy, the first one down to Sign though. Sign has threaded that arrow through a millimeter gap, I reckon, there. It was a beautiful shot, and that's halted the push of Mind Freak. And again, that's that free fight win. Looks like he's not slowing down on the Hanzo today, Sign. He's been on fire. Yeah, plenty of free ultimate charge as well for Order. Signs up to 62% of the Dragon Strike. Quartz is basically lapping bus for the Supercharger as well. So the going doesn't really get any easier here for Mind Freak now that they've given up those two picks. They'll have to reset themselves, look for another engagement, but they're doing it at a deficit. All right, back onto the payload, Mind Freak go. You can see Order are getting ever closer to their ultimates as well. That's going to put them in a good spot. And Adam finds a hook under August. And well, that's going to stop this push in his trap. We saw Adam have one of the stronger Roadhog performances in the regular season on Temple of Anubis. And he doesn't, doesn't seem to be a mug on that hero at all. Played Diva for so long, thought he couldn't play anything else. But he turns up here and he's, he's more than capable on the Roadhog. Looking for one more hook, gets it again. You can see that big chain coming out from Adam on the road hold. Very effective. Aki pops the oh, coalesce. Oh. Not bad at all. August comes through, powered up onto Yuki and Quartz. Hunter will lose his immortality field as well. A decision to make now for Order. They can't let the cart push and then lose a the fight. They need Adam. to either die on the fight, the cart, or they get out. Adam is super isolated at the moment. Yeah. He's on the floor and he's surely going to be finished off here. Oh. Oh. Transcendence from Jordation to try and save him. And it, save him it will, but isn't worth it. Yeah, at what cost? Because they will not win this fight. Mind Freak continue to push forward and now Order have lost that one huge ultimate. That's one of those unforced errors that we talk about from Order. That is one of those unforced errors, and it could cost them the point. The double amplification is here, and they're doing so much damage through it, but they need to start contesting the card. Yeah, Mind Freak going to fall back just for now, holding on to a ton of ultimates as well. You can see the superchargers come out. Hunter's thrown out the ult, uh, amplification matrix as well. Now Mind Freak decides to engage. You can hear the blizzard coming through. Hold on from Adam. Self-destruct finds two. Yuki goes down as well. See you later to Adam and Sign says, I'm going to have a twin because I don't want to fight this one anymore. Yeah, a bit of deja vu there for order, I think. Regardless, though, it is the self-destruct that pushes Mind Freak through. Now we have August able to get into a high ground position to use this Reaper ultimate. Adam swaps over to the Diva, so there will be counterplay to it, but that's a lot of swaps from Order. They have no ultimates coming into this next fight. The card is pushing a fair distance. It certainly is. So you see, it saw them hit that first objective just before the bridge. That put more time on the clock. We try again. Yuki, the first one down, going 
Uh, going down to kick his rock and bus finds one as well. Mind Freak with a great run through. They get onto the other side of the shield, and that makes the tank very, very vulnerable. Quats found out by August Reaper. The character that August is playing is very effective at taking down those big tanky heroes. Fight cleaned up by Mind Freak without breaking a sweat, it looks like. Water didn't build enough ult charge in that fight, so this is going to be their last contest on this phase of the map. A phase is typically hard to break. August totally unchecked in that last fight. Auto going to need to be on the ball with this next one, especially considering he does have that Death Blossom available. Again, trying to sneak around the angle, looking for a flank. Oh, here we go. August 9th just sitting. Here we go. Waiting. Up in the back side, throws it out, looks for a pick, and he goes down. Death Blossom used. But just held strong there potentially. And he goes down to Yuki self destruct, finds quads. Mind Freak on a roll once more. Cole as it comes out from Jordation. But it will not be enough. I help but feel. Certainly doesn't seem like it at the moment, but doing oh, a good job nice. of keeping signed alive. And that has been a win condition for all. Here we go again. Another Death Blossom. This time, though, shut down by Bus. Yeah. He comes back in with a vengeance and order. They crumble on point B. Marissa with that machine gun she has when she's left alone with Supercharger on her. She does so much damage and Bus was really cleaning up that fight. Well played from Adam at the start of the fight to identify what August was trying to do. Get in the back lane, assassinate Unter before he could get his ult off. Man Adam manages to save his, his friend there in Unter and almost had an opportunity to turn the fight. Sign unluckily not getting enough done with his Death Blossom. Now, the third phase comes about. That Symmetra has reared its ugly head again. Blizzard available, that will get thrown out in just a second. Supercharger for order on defense. Uh, Kiki Blizzard, I think, will get caught out there by Adam, so that's definitely less than ideal. My Frick starting to lose players left, right, and center. We're getting ever closer to the third and final objective. That means it's easier for Order on the defensive side to hold for a little bit longer, and they do so on this occasion. Howdy throwing that Blizzard straight into the defense matrix of Adam once more. He's been so good at that today, cleaning up those ultimates, really preventing his team from being punished by ultimates. Mind Freak have an advantage going into this fight, but I can't help but feel that this Diva one from Adam, he hasn't got many kills today with it. Is this the time that he shines? Well, it's about time, isn't it? You always expect one or two good ones from Adam in any given series. It is going to be a bit of a linchpin in this fight, though, for Order. They don't really have a whole lot else to work with, but yeah. Mind Freak taking the high ground, looking to push forward here, waiting patiently, but here we another go. Wall. Again, oh, Yuki, another wall. wall. That wall will stop the self-destruct from coming through. Essentially, an ultimate wasted. The beat is dropped as well. Self-destruct comes out from the other side. Death Blossom comes through. Addy down. August down. August did find Yuki in the process, but Order looking to come out with a fight. Win side has thrown out his ultimate also. The left click coming through very strong as well. And Order will hold themselves once more. 90 seconds on the clock. Well played there from Adam once more, but August, he went for the same play that he's gone for time and time again. As soon as that Diva Bomb goes out, he goes into that Death Blossom. Unfortunately, the players from Order were ready to respond and took him out rather quickly. Mind Freak now struggling for ultimates. Order, they have the double support ultimates, they have the Arisa ultimate, they're going to be able to shred Mind Freak, and Mind Freak are going to have to take the choice here. Are they going to go for a clean fight and try not to use anything, or are they going to invest? There we go, Jordation with the Coalescence again, healing and causing damage to his opponents. This will be very effective for his team. Supercharger has also come out there from Quartz, and Arthur is sitting on a shield for everyone else on the side that's, of Order. Two ults, two ults for no kills, yep. that's disastrous for Order. Really nicely played so far by Mind Freak. Here comes the counter engage now as the Coalescence from Aki is unleashed. We've got players on both sides throwing ultimates through, but it's Yuki that will have the impact. The Blizzard forces Mind Freak away once again. Yeah, it does. Look at this. They're going to try and chase them down, looking for a stagger. Swilko, the first one to be picked. Looks like maybe everyone else will get away. Mind Freak on attack. We talked about how well they have done on Rialto this season, but right now it's going to be a struggle for them to get onto the payload, and when they get there, it's going to be a struggle to win this fight. Historically, third point Rialto has been an absolute nightmare for attackers if they get reset early or late. Now we see it coming into full effect. Now, at the very least, you want to get it pushed into that final room around this corner. It's the last chance for Mind Freak here as the Supercharger does get dropped. Now Blizzard from Addy, and it's a good one. Self-destruct self from Adam. We were waiting for it. Nicely done. Jordation onto Swilco. You saw Mind Freak get a little caught up in the side room as well. There's the Coalescence onto Swilco from Aki. Mind Freak trying to turn it around. Quats goes down. 
Sign goes down as well. The spawns again in order's favor, but Mind Freak are on the payload. I don't think they have Bus. enough players here. Bus is in the Reinhardt. Let's see what he can do. He needs to try and do something magical here. Swing away with that big hammer. At least he's going to be able to provide some objective control for his team as the sound barrier now helps him Here out. Here we go, self-destruct, we'll find Bus, Whoa, and we no. have the main tank going down. That means the order will stem the tide during overtime. Mind Freak G falling a little bit short of that third and final objective here on the attacking side of Rialto. We will now flip the sides. It's up to Mind Freak to defend, and well, if Order can come out and finally pick up a Rialto map here today in the grand final, they're going to be one map away from victory. Certainly the time to do it if you want to take that map away, but this is still very winnable for Mind Freak. First point, Rialto, very deceptively hard to push. If the defending team takes the fights in the right position, they can get two good fights off. And that second fight under that arch where mm. the cap point is can be very difficult for attackers to get through, clear the defenders out. Same as this point, the second point. The spawns really favor the defense as soon as you start getting into the latter points of that section. So a Mind Freak, they should still be confident that they could defend this. Well, it's going to be very, very close. We have a few times now seen full hold on the first objective as well, Elfish Guy. For me, yep. if Mind Freak want to come out of here with momentum, they want to come out of here ready to go to pick up the next map, it's going to start there on Objective A. Yeah, look, it doesn't have to be a full hold on point A, but it does have to be a solid hold. They've got to get that one into late stages, maybe into the overtime, maybe only 30 seconds left for Order, so that for the rest of the map, Order is feeling the pressure of the time at their back. Yeah. If Order's able to get on a roll early on in this Rialto map, they're able to continue to dictate how the play kind of speeds up and slows down, they are going to be the ones that will control this game, and that will unfortunately be the end of Mind Freak, at least for Rialto. Yeah, it's going to be very, very close in the audience. Who's here for order? Who wants to see Mind Freak get up here and now? They're ready for this one, Smash. Mind Freak still with the fan advantage, and they've changed it up a little bit. I wonder if that was for the Symmetra or not, but August on the Widowmaker. Addy, predominantly a Widowmaker player in his career in Overwatch, so he's taking a back seat, still on the May. Let's have to see what August can get done on the Widowmaker. Sign has shown epic moments in the past on this map on the Widowmaker. Yeah. I want to see him get on there and challenge August. Looking for the picks here, August 9th, the Widowmaker is a sniper type hero. Lots of damage, very squishy though, very easy to go down if you can capture them in close oh. quarters. And just like that, Sign gets on top of August. Well, August just gets punished for peeking the same angle over and over and over again. An attempted hook from Kiki trying to do what Adam did earlier. Oh, it's a big bio nade. It is indeed. Punishment, though. Once again, there's a hook. That one successful. Sign coming through over the top. So uh, maneuverable is this Hanzo as well. And you can see the damage coming out from Order. They have a lot of momentum now, probably going to find this first objective. Yeah, they didn't stall the cart in the correct position either. I mean, it's going to be difficult for the contest to come through on the second time. Kiki swapped it over to the Diva. That's to try and stop this damage from this Hanzo player. Not only that, but August has also gone back onto the Reaper. It's a more tried and true setup from Mind Freak here rather than what they were running. But maybe it's too little too late of a swap. Dragon Strike comes through. That will clear everyone out. They cannot get onto the payload. The wall goes up as well. Bus finds the supercharger in the meantime, and you can hear in the top lane coming through, it's going to be Swilco. But right hey, now, the they're managing to hold this cart nice and strong. It's going to be close. Yeah, that said, does Mind Freak have the legs in this fight that Order does? Well, a one for two trade seems to answer no. As Order starts to pull ahead now, Adam with a whole hog, if it were even necessary. Yeah. And only August can save this one now for Mind Freak, but he will just be pushed back by that whole hog. In order, they get through point A pretty comfortably. We talked about it being somewhat of a win condition for Mind Freak to hold it strong there, and they have not been able to do that. And they have an Aki swapping it from the Ana on over to the Moira to provide that death ball composition, so they could catch out order here if they're fast enough pace. This is a point where you can have a little bit of a defender's advantage recontesting from the high ground, especially as order don't have any heroes that can contest it. There's no Diva at the moment. You're going to see Mind Freak playing inside just for now as they try and swap around to the side and find themselves a nice little point to hold. The supercharger for the defensive it's side makes it a bit easier. Oh. But look at that sign come through. Dragon Strike. Those dragons 
go through the walls and they take out the majority of Mind Freak. The payload continues, order looking good. It's that momentum that continues. Mind Freak have not been able to stall things at all and they're desperately in need of a fight win. There, it will be very difficult. They will win the fight here. They've got to win at least two more, you'd feel, on this stage. Otherwise, it's going to be a really tall task for them to hold on to this map. Supercharger for the attackers once more. Everyone's going to get amped up just a little bit. Transcendence from and Jordation will keep them all alive, but not long enough. The Blizzard comes through. Mind Freak finds Adam. And there we go. They'll follow it up and finally get themselves onto this payload and be able to slow this down just a little. It was a very cheap fight too. Only spending the mail to get that one done. There's no diva threat on the side of Order before, so now he has swapped over to it to counter it out of it. And they've swapped over to the Death Ball composition themselves with the Symmetra that they've liked to show so far. They believe in Science Symmetra, and why not? It's been successful. Yeah, really good focus fire in that last fight as well to smash down Adam's Roadhog, even despite the transcendence from Jordation being on top of that blizzard. Mind Freak communicating well. Two minutes and a half left for order though, and they do sort of reset that composition as you've said, Smash, which does mean they're relatively dry going into this fight. The Hulk from the Arisa will pull them off the high ground. Ultimates though, sitting all in the pockets here of Mind Freak 3 to work with. August is going in. Four. August jumps on top, throws out the death uh -oh. blocks, and goes down to Jordation. An opportunity potentially wasted there. Bus goes down as well for Under. Now order the attacking side, they have the advantage. They'll clear this one off and the payload will get moving once again. August completely misjudging the situation there. He led off with the TP into that Death Blossom, but nobody on the side of Auto used any of their resources yep. yet, so they were completely equipped to deal with him when he came flying on in. Just a little bit over-eager. The defense matrix comes up from Adam and he's holding into absolutely nothing, instantly focused down, and then it's a 5v6, and for Auto, they didn't need to do anything really there. They just got gifted that fight for free. Now Mind Freak's situation yes. gets even worse. It does indeed. We don't even need to get to the third and final objective. We just need to get past this point. Self-destruct comes through. Looking for Pick Sign has disappeared. Kiki onto Adam. Mind Freak with some great defensive work will finally get back in control, but so much time on the clock. Yeah, I'm not sure how Sign managed that, but now Order have that five ultimate bank and they only need one fight win. Will they invest in everything this fight? The May ult from Addy could be, could be the thing that turns the fight, but he hasn't had a good one so far in this series. He needs to get them on the board now. Well, maybe Adam gets baited by a self-destruct and that opens the door for Addy, but you're right. It's gonna have to be a big one here for Mind Freak as the wall comes down from Signed August in the back line, looking for damage right on top of the supercharger. Yeah, look at this, Mind Freak throwing everything they've got to this fight. The self-destruct won't find anyone either. And nothing here for August would work with the Blizzard come through. This might help. Mind Freak have used a lot of ultimates, but they have come out on top and now they're starting to charge them up again. That's a real confidence builder for Mind Freak. If they can win a fight like that against what Order had, you can win any fight. Yeah, they threw everything and the kitchen sink in there, Order. As you were mentioning, as soon as that self-destruct came out from Adam, the Blizzard came straight onto the feet of the Order players and they had nothing to deal with it. The beat drop had already been used. So there was a big advantage there. Addy well done in identifying what was going to happen and playing it out correctly. Even better in this fight, Mind Freak do have the ultimate advantages. There's a death blossom for August and he has generally nice. been pretty solid with that since King's Row. Nice little halt. We'll get them on the other side of the wall as well. That can cause a bit of damage, but a wall comes out from the other side. Coalescence to push them back off the ground. 120 on the clock. Sign goes down to Bath as well. Order in a difficult spot. They could get uh, wiped out here entirely. Yeah, Mind Freak, I want to be careful that they don't overcommit to this one. But as long as they are the ones finding the picks and not losing any of their own, they're coming away with some pretty significant advantages. Especially considering that whole fight win for Mind Freak. And I hesitate to even call it a fight win. Because yeah. it wasn't really a fight just comes off of Aki's Coalescence. They managed to find Sign out of position, unable to get back with his team who's in front of the shield. And he gets taken out. But this is do, do or die now for Order, you feel like. If they don't win this fight, it's going to be a really rough next one. 40 seconds on the clock, as Smash said. Probably two fights remaining here. Mind Freak have to hold out. This is their hopes and dreams. The most important 30 seconds, potentially, of this match for them. They're going to swap sides to self destruct. Comes through the beat is dropped as well. But it finds Anta. So much here for Mind Freak to work with as well. Venture Ultimate comes out. You can hear the Death Blossom also. Self-destruct once more this time from Adam. will find Adi. 
no one on the payload. They're going to head into overtime in just a second. They're going to be forced to fall back, but Mind Freak are trying to keep them on the wrong side of the game. Well, benefit here for Mind Freak is that they do have the respawn advantage, and Aki is doing work with that coalescence. Order, at the very least, secure the payload push, but they have much more work to do from here, a much bigger mountain to climb. Yeah, those spawns are going to be coming in very slowly now for Order. They are going to be on a hero disadvantage. Yuki! Yuki coming through! That's incredible on the Tracer! Surely Order can't turn this one around! One by one, Mind Freak going to get onto the payload, but it does not have far to go! Oh my goodness! Order make it 3 and nil. They've been absolutely wrong at the last moment there, Mind Freak. The cart rolling back actually gave Order a huge positional advantage going into that fight. The spawns flipped over, so it was more beneficial to be on the attack again. The, the payload spill in, Mind Freak were feeling under pressure, and they managed to get off their positioning. Yeah, that's a big one for Order, and a bit of a tilter, I think, for Mind Freak as well. That was another map that was really theirs to lose. That's two in a row now. King's Row, a draw, not the end of the world really for Mind Freak, but losing on Rialto after having such a winnable position now puts you down three and zero, now puts order on match point. And that was the map that we thought maybe, if any, was going the way of Mind Freak, and unfortunately it hasn't. Avril. What an incredible game. We said that surely this is Mind Freak's map. It looked like they might be. We talked about earlier how in this in this format it can come down to individual plays from DPS players. Yuki in the end with the goods. And this is where you want to see Order be able to clutch up the game. We talk about late game environments for them, late in the match, deep in the series, but also when it really starts to matter. And when you think about how King's Row ended, the fact that it was a draw at the end of the day, Order could not push that one through. This is kind of like payment due. We couldn't take King's Row, but we will take Rialto. So in some ways, okay, the draw's out of the way now. Rialto's probably yeah. should have been a win on paper for a team like Mind Freak, and they had a decent run, but you needed to see a better response on both A and B points for Mind Freak if this was going to be their win. Jordan, I can't help but feel that this order lineup, yes, they started off slow at the start of the season, but we know they didn't have the, the leaders that they wanted. They were overseas. They were representing our country. They were playing on a different format against different teams in a different region. That didn't go how they wanted either, and it took them a long time to slowly but surely bring the, the season back into their hands. And now they're here today and look at them on stage. They finally win on Rialto. Yeah, it definitely has taken them a long time. I mean, Smash and myself throughout the entire season, each week we were saying, is this the week that Order's going to be back? Is this the one where they're finally going to kick themselves into gear that we get to see the order that we expected? And it never came. It never yeah. really came. We got all the way to the semi-finals, and even in the semi-finals, a 3-2 against Ground Zero was not really what you think of when you say order. You expect that to be a 3-0. You expect them to clean up the semi-finals, no problems at all. Yes. And now, finally, it seems like order have hit that peak level again. They're back to what we saw in Season 1 of 2019. They finally arrived, and they are making Mind Freak pay. Smash, I can't help but feel we talk about how important those boot camps are. We saw order... As Jordan said, 3-2 only just sneaking through against Ground Zero. A couple of weeks of boot camp, and they're really the team I expected to see at the start of the season. Yeah, they look like, looking like they're back in their championship form. It was very interesting. Both teams had a boot camp of similar duration, but they were very different approaches. The Mind Freak boot camp was very scheduled, very structured, very professional. The Auto boot camp was more relaxed, getting the players back together in a comfortable environment and then building synergies there. A lot of them were still doing their homework at boot camp. And I feel like now when you start to look at this series, and Jordan, you brought up the Ground Zero semi-final as well. That one was a 3-2 and two victory, kind of narrow for the team like Order. The threes already happened here. If this was a first of three, we'd be gone. This would be done and dusted. The two that Mind Freak could still get that maybe, you know, I put on the table for them, you put one on the table for them, we've still yet to see that. And now my fear is we're about to hit into control soon. That's another Order favorite game mode. And if you haven't been able to take Rialto, you haven't been able to take Escort, where are you going to take a map win? Exactly. Avril. That was the unfortunate thing that I wanted to bring up. I said if it was going to be a 4 and 1, that map was going yeah. to come on the escort. We've seen that go now to order. And, and I mean, credit, of course, as well to Mind Freak for being able to bring King's Road to at least a draw. I didn't expect that. Unfortunately, though, now the rest of the map pool doesn't look too keen, too crash hot at all for Mind Freak. Even regardless of what particular map we get here in the control, 
I'm actually going to say a 4-0 for order today. Yeah, it's been a pretty difficult challenge today for these guys, for sure. You can't underestimate the pressure of being on this incredible stage, a team that has come from essentially, they were not a team last season. We pulled them together. They've gone from strength to strength, but sometimes, Avril, I can't help but feel you almost need to lose one up here before you can win one. And maybe you need to lose a couple because let's be honest, Order lost a lot before they finally won. They lost a lot of stage matches, went through a lot of versions of their roster. Mind Freak's still a new team, they're still a young team. There's still a couple of rookies on here who, like others have said, this is their first MEO. Last year they were in the crowd, this year they're on the yeah. stage and they're feeling that one. They want to try and get this victory. I like to still see them take a map somewhere. They can maybe still make a comeback happen, but the likelihood is listening. Well, let's go and take a look at what our next map will be. This map also going to pick, uh, be picked by the team Mind Freak G. They didn't have much to pick from. It is going to be Ilios. Jordan, what are your thoughts? Well, I have a little bit of good news maybe for the Mind Freak fans right, in the audience. Go. Now, this is a map that Order actually has not won in the season. Again, I did say the same thing about Rialto, so let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. But it was also, interestingly, the map that Mind Freak was able to take against Order in the regular season, or one of the two. It was Ilios and Havana. Yeah. But this one, one of them, and maybe a slim chance. It was a very convincing win too on that Ilios. Addy played the Widowmaker on Lighthouse and destroyed Order. I feel this is a better matchup on this map for Mind Freak, but they need to adapt. If they see that Symmetra running at them, mm. they can't force the Reaper into it. Get the Rocket Lady out, get in the sky, get the Pharaoh. I will say though, as a bit of a point to add on to that smash, is so far, August Best Hero has been Reaper in this series. And I do want to look at performance for this particular series where, okay, Hanzo was pretty decent for Sign early on. That started to drop off now towards the end of the series. Symmetra has been pretty decent, but every time August has swapped off the Reaper, hasn't worked out for him. Well guys and girls, it's time once again. Let's have a bit of a refresher on the control game type. This is Control. Two teams fight head-to-head -head for control of a common objective located in the middle of the map. To capture the objective, your team must stand within its range for a set amount of time. Capture percentage is continually given to whichever team is in control. The enemy will fight to clear your team off and capture the objective for themselves. Losing control will pause your progress. Now your opponent gains capture percentage. If both teams are on the objective when one of them reaches 99% capture, the game enters overtime. This extends play indefinitely until one of the teams is cleared off. The round ends when either team achieves 100% capture. Each round is played on one of the map's three unique areas. Control is best of three, so whichever team captures two objectives wins. Well, guys and girls, we now head back to control. This time it's a little bit warmer. We go to Ilios right now in the Overwatch Contenders Australia Season 2 Grand Finals here for 2019. Supported, of course, by McDonald's Australia. Maccas have been a big supporter all season long and last season as well. So thank you very much to them. Order right now, one map away from victory, one map from going back to back. Jordan, can they do it? They certainly can. It's a big one here for Order as well. They suffered under the dynasty that Sydney Drop Bears built in all of 2018. Every single season, the land went the way of the Drop Bears. But now it is the year of Order, or at least that's our perception, should they end up winning this game. And it may be Ilios, it may be that 4-0 and zero for Order where they're able to take that one away. It's definitely looking like that. I mean, the, it's really hard to come back from that as Mind Freak. Getting so close on two maps to winning. After taking that break, they did look reinvigorated and refreshed, though. They came out and are playing a lot better Overwatch. We see the Symmetra Death Ball coming out from the side of Order. There's been no answer for this so far for Mind Freak. Are they going to try and change it up? Remember, guys and girls, this is the first map type we played, essentially a mirror match. You try to capture the same control point. There are three rounds. It's a, a best of three. If you win two, you come away as the victor. We're going to follow out right now Mind Freaky here as the green team. For now, nothing too crazy happening just yet. Order posturing for some positions, but Addy does manage to catch Signed. And as Avril said, 100% win rate for Mind Freak when they catch Signed first. Can they consolidate? Can they confirm this fight as they do slow down just a little bit? 
They will get first capture of the objective, which is also important. And he caught out here, Kiki. He's actually been demacked. He pushed a little too far forward. Yeah, that is certainly less than ideal for Mind Freak. It means that the Diva goes from being inside that big, chunky mech to being a little squishy uh, girl all by herself with a pistol. Pretty effective, but certainly not the same as being protected. That Good trade. For sure. Yeah, it's exactly one for one trade. Ork is down, Quat's down as well. Oh. Under quite low, Swilko finds Yuki. Coalescence comes out from order. This could be enough to turn it all around. Yeah, there were some decent trades back there from Mind Freak, but unfortunately just that deficit in terms of the numbers has come back to bite them a little bit. They couldn't get enough heals across. They couldn't protect themselves well enough. And order always staying one step ahead in that fight. Now, Mind Freak, sure, they start off at 37%, but that really should have been a lot more. And August is so far behind on his ultimate so far. He's only at 50%. Science already built one up. Yuki already there as well. Still not getting the value out of the Reaper that we expected right in this early stages of Ilios. All right, they come out back once again. Mind Freak, as we can see, got to 37% before Order stopped the tie, turned it around and captured the point themselves. Now Order hold the point and are working their way towards 100%. You can see Still making good use of that Symmetra, the teleports, and of course, the ultimate comes out as well. The beat is dropped there by Swilko. Coalescence comes through, as will the Blizzard there from Addy. Mind Freak throwing everything they've got into oh, this Adam. one, but it's Adam's self-destruct that will seal the deal. Yeah, a rough one there for Mind Freak with the Symmetra War coming up at the start. They have to choose which way they want to go, and either way really seemed like out of the frying pan into the fire. Yeah, they had to move to a location where Adam's bomb could get lots of value off the kills. Like, not much environment to hide. Yuki throwing out the mail first there. Managed to get the beat drop from Swilko as well. So, no defensive ults going into this fight for Mind Freak. Here we go again. Now, two thirds of the way through. The supercharger used by Quartz. The Orisa ultimate makes everyone just that little bit better. August still waiting on his first ultimate too. He'll only just be able to get it into wow. this fight. What a very different story. August has been getting ultimate after ultimate, but as you said, very slow. Kiki throws out a self-destruct of his own fine side. Not a bad pick at all. Mind Freak need to make the most of this. Oh, just look at how fast order falls apart after that initial pick. They were all over the place in that fight, and Mind Freak have kind of mopped them up. That really wasn't so much Mind Freak winning the fight as Order losing it. Sure, the Diva Bomb was nice, but Order got themselves in all sorts of troubles. Yeah, the whole Diva Bomb combo there from Mind Freak really paying dividends. They managed to catch Sign out a hero with no mobility apart from his teleporter, so he couldn't yet escape that, as well as forcing cooldowns out of Order and into them. So it made it very easy for the side of Mind Freak to clean up the fight, but Order have used a cheeky little TP player to get behind the choke, and they're back on the point. Oh my goodness, they're back there again, halfway through. Coalescence from both sides, big icy Maywalls from both sides as well. Still everyone up, but Sign the first one down. Fast was low, but Order not in a great position. Finally, August gets to use his ulti. Adam gets d -mech. Mind Freak continue to hold the point. And stem the tide once more, now up to 70%. This is moving over towards a Mind Freak favoured map. This next fight is pivotal. Signs wall is going to have to be precision perfect. That Diva Bomb from Kiki could really turn the turn the table here. Could we see Mind Freak going up in a map? They're getting an advantage. Well, it would uh, be a nice change of pace for them, I am sure. But still a bit to work with here for Order. Those Diva Bombs have been effectively shut down by Order as well, not only from Yuki, but from Sion, as you say, as well, with these oh. symmetrical walls. And, well, speaking of walls, there's another one. Adam, Adam Kiki, it. Oh my god, beaten. both Blizzards disappear. The self-destruct comes through as well. Won't find anyone. Beat is dropped by both Lucios also, so ultimates use left, right, and center. But it's going to be Order coming out on top. Mind Freak G go down. Now up to 99%. We head into overtime. Kiki on the point. Kiki goes down also. This one going to go the way of Order. 1-0 up. Looking for one more. And that'll give them the win. It's a rough way to lose for Mind Freak. They had it all on the platter there for them. But once again, at the 11th hour, Order pips them to the post. They're able to get the win. And it's just another one where you feel like, oh, Mind Freak were 5% better, 5% quicker, 5% stronger. They would have won that map. But unfortunately, today, Order has had that 5% that they've needed. We saw it on Rialto. We saw it on King's Road to force the draw. And we see it again there on Ruins just to get the up, 
the, the, the upgrade, I suppose, here on the, the score line to start things off on Ilios. The tried and true is still coming out from Mind Freak. They're trusting us so much. Jordan should have Brig pick. He won't run out of the spawn on that. He's playing silly buggers. This map, very good for the Reaper, though. Lots of corners to hide around, making this close range combat, you know, pretty, pretty advantageous. Symmetra, a bit more difficult. They're going to go head to head. This is potentially the last round of the entire grand final. Very, very important. If Order gets this one to 100%, they will be our Season 2 champions. On to the point we go. Fast the first one, looking very, very low. Kept alive for now, but not long enough. One for one trade. But I'd honestly rather have my tank. No shield available. Sees Orcas go down also with Order in control. Yeah, it's yeah. just the scraps here for Mind Freak, trying to salvage anything that they can. But as you can see, it's gone the way of Order, and they are one more step forward on their road to that dynasty. Using that teleporter there to get to the point first really is an advantage in these Orisa compositions. And we finally see them making an adjustment. Finally. Finally the Pharah comes out from August. Here he's not known for too well, but I'm sure he can play it nonetheless. Yeah, finally we see the Pharah come out. The first time I think we've seen it all game long. Big rockets with the pharmacy combination. Just gonna have to channel his inner color hex. What we saw on Ilios last year at Melbourne Esports Open was something terrifying from the Faras. But August needs to step up large for his roster here and be tagged quite well by oh, Adam. No. Finished off by Jordation. The yes. fight once again starts to spiral out of control, but at the very least, the res comes across onto August. It does indeed. Swilko just in the nick of time, and even though the beat is dropped by Anta. Mindbreak's the team that comes out with more players alive. 47, 48% now for order, but with Mindfreak on the point, they're going to be looking to swap this one around. I feel like that's the composition change they needed. August now has the barrage too going into the next fight as they clean up the last of it. 56, 57%, not too bad to give up. 60%, there's still lots of fights remaining, and Mindfreak don't overspend ults there. Order, will they try and match the composition, change back? Sign looks like he wants to keep this wall for now. It can be used right on top of the Pharah when she uses that barrage and she ends up blowing herself up. It's quite comical. Look at the ultimates now sitting here for Mind Freak. You'd like to think if they are Ooh. efficient, they could come out with the next fight win as well. Everyone but Addy with theirs to Watch use out for to come through and yes, got to be careful not to get knocked off the map. See ya, see ya later, sign. You love to see it. Maybe not if you sign. You but if you're a Mind Freak fan, you do. The yeah. environmental kills, we haven't had many on this series so far, but there's one. I think that might be, even be the first. I think so. Well, it's a nice percentage in the back pocket of Mind Freak that they don't really have to work too hard for. No. Getting close to equalizing now at 60% apiece, but as we've seen time and time again, you can't really rest on your laurels as a Mind Freak here, even if they get the advantage. Symmetra comes out with the ultimate. The only ultimate we saw from Mind Freak before was that supercharger, so very efficient. Zulko will use his as well. Kiki with the self-destruct comes through. Blizzard's in the oh, middle, no. looking for kills. But August goes down, Addy goes down. Zulko once again picks August back up, but will it be enough? Bots with the supercharger comes through. Unter still sitting safely on the beat to drop a little bit later on. Up to 70%, go mine for G. But Order looking to bring the point back under their control. And unfortunately, the inexperience on Farah exposed August there. He, he was only a few more seconds since that Symmetra wall drops down and is no longer available. So he chooses a very risky spot to put the barrage in. He can't get any help from his Diva there. It's very dangerous. And that could have cost them quite a bit. Yeah. He's back on the comfort pick, the Reaper. I don't know if this is going to give them any advantage here. It's too late. It has to. It has to. They've yeah, only got does. that 20% left. Order now staring down the barrel of a victory. They have control of the point. Mind Freak with not a lot to play with. And this is now Mind Freak's last chance. 15%. Order looking to become champions here and now. Could it be a 4-0 taking down Ilios in the end? Blizzard available for both teams. One comes out. The other not used. Self-destruct in the middle also. Everyone's still alive. Anta throws down the shield for his rest of his team. Order can win it here and now. 99%. We are into overtime. Mind Freak have to win this fight they or they lose the game. The seat, they're keeping it alive. Mind Freak, they're still managing to survive. Order, it was there for them. It was available. The victory, the 4 and 0. They could almost taste it, but Mind Freak have one chapter left to write. How long is it going to be, though? Is it going to be 20% or do we get to see at least one more round here? Or.
Un it's even another map. Uncharacteristic ultimate usage out of order there. Spending so many ultimates so early in the fight for no value. The beat drop got nothing. The coalescence, the blizzard, it was all for naught. Self-destruct no into the wall won't be effective. Hunters go down to Addy, however. That is less than ideal for order. They're going to have to win this fight now as well. This is potentially the last fight of the match. We're into overtime. Players try and get onto the point. Fast will lose that supercharge. Death Loss is Death Loss in comes through. Adam down, side down. August saves the day. Mind Freak G looking to win this point and looking to go to the third round here on Ilios. Yeah, in order to know that it was over, you could see them diving off the edge there. Mind Freak to the cheers of the crowd. Keep the series alive. And that's what we want more Overwatch on this grand stage. Mind Freak turning up. The last three maps have been so close. They've been so unlucky not to get one of them away. This is an interesting map to go to, though. This is the third map. We've seen lots and lots of funny moments on this map over the years of Overwatch. That hole in the middle can be an absolute doozy. Alrighty, one last time, guys and girls, here in Rod Laver Arena. Who wants to hear Order win this right now? Still pretty good, still pretty good. Who wants to see Mind Freak G bring it back? Definitely still, they're, in still they're not changing their mind at all, Elfish Guy. Once again, we roll out now here onto Well. If we talk about environmental kills, now is the time. Yeah, certainly, especially with the Farah here for August. Addy's changed things up as well. He's onto that trademark Widowmaker. This is where Mind Freak, the individual DPS players, are going to need to step up. As soon as they saw the Symmetra in the first map, I thought this was going to be their go-to. Oh, oh, Two oh. comfort picks for their players. Now it's the rotation game. Ring around the rosy. This is a very fun way to start a map. Sign dancing with death, actually. Well, where are the picks? That's what Mind Freak is looking for right now. Either a headshot from Addy, a kill from August, a boot maybe, something. But if Order gets those brawls, they're going to win, and they're finding them as well as Bus has been collapsed upon. It's a one for one as Sign goes down, but Hunter finds another. What? August somehow boot. I don't even know how that's possible. August, you can fly, mate. Anyway, that won't matter. Mind Freak looking to give up the point. Order now in control, up to 5%. I don't know how I feel about this one for Mind Freak. They've tried to roll the dice, so to speak. Addy hasn't had much of an impact on that Widowmaker. I do agree with this. The change up, I don't think it was working for Mind Freak, but it, it has cost them the initial cap. The initial cap is also important on Well. It is very difficult to retake. You often see 99 to 99 here just by one fight or two fights taken. It's so difficult to retake because there is this defender's advantage where you can rotate away and around the point and a yeah. percentage. This big well in the middle can make life very, very difficult. Sign trying to get back out of dodge. That may well not going to stop him for now. Very difficult with Maze on both teams. Blizzard comes out into the middle. That will force Mind Freak back now up to 40%. Order getting ever closer to victory. Here's the coalescence from Jordation looking to save the team. But Swilko has boot signed off the edge. Swilko eventually goes down to the coalescence. Supercharger comes out too. Aki finds the supercharger pretty quickly oh, with the coalescence of his own. And Mind Freak, surely can they turn this around here? It definitely looks like they'll be able to. Kiki's going to invest the Diva Bomb, which forces Order off the point for a moment, but still they retain control of that. And now it's less about winning the fight for Order and more about stalling the points. As they keep getting that percentage, you can hear that tick, tick, tick going up. That's Order still gaining advantages, even though Mind Freak is winning this fight. Hunt had fantastic positioning on that fight. Just a Above the windowsill there, they couldn't cut him off it. And he managed to get that pivotal environmental kill on one of the players. Alrighty, now up to 80%. Order so close. 15% remains between them and today's champions. Mind Freak loses one. That's Bus goes down. August with the Death Blossom fights two, however. Mind Freak looking to bring it back. They need to capture the point. We're up to 96. 97, finally, well, they get back in control. I might have called it a little bit too early with that last fight because it did end up being orders, but Mind Freak, they come back with a vengeance. They take the fight when they have to, but now they have to hold 100%. They just, they can't, they cannot allow order to cap this one back. It has to be a full hold from Mind Freak. And they do have the ultimates now to go into that full hold. They have Addy's May ultimate. It can be very difficult on this point just because there are... Very little flat surfaces where you can throw the mail out. You can always hide behind corners and such, but it's still very powerful. The rotation is going to be important. They need to buy as much time off the clock as possible here, Mind Freak. Run away. Don't get, don't, you don't get into a fight. You don't need to.
Yeah, efficient use of ultimate charge is what this is going to come down to. Aki sitting on this coalescence, adding oh, to the no. blizzard. Bust goes down, the main tank is out. Oh, oh, oh my goodness, goodness. Swilko trades two, drops the beat as well. Now up to 48%, Mind Freak with the fight. We were waiting for, I've been waiting for so long. Swilko has been the boot master throughout this season. And he's, he's waited all the way till Ilios to bring it out. Oh man. How? Right, exactly right. Top. Beautiful teamwork there from Auto into the halt, into the boop, into the well. That's beautiful teamwork. We need to see more of that though from Wine Freak. That's what they're known for, these quirky little teamwork plays. It used to be the boop shadow from Swilko and Bust, but I want to see those halt boops. We're a couple hours into this grand final right now, and maybe Mind Freak are finally starting to find their feet. It's taken them a very long time, but they cannot afford to slip here and now. They're on the point. They need to hold it the old way through. Hunter comes through, drops the beat for now. Shields for his team. Bust the first one down. Kiki brings it back. The Both blizzard. main the blizzard takes outside. are gone. The blizzard in the middle. Again, trading Where's one Kiki? for one. Hunter comes through onto Kiki, however. Yeah. Looking to counter oh, effect. Oh, 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 oh. He's keeping it alive right now. He's doing his best, but he's the only player on the point for Mind Freak Buster. Just managed to get back there to keep it in the favor of MF. But unfortunately, it seems for Mind Freak that Order have the advantage here. They'll need to do some real work to get back into this one as Bust is blown up midair. Oh no, the self destruct's going to come through as well. We'll find Kiki. Kiki blown off the point. You can see Mind Freak with not very many players left. They are one by one going to try and make their way to the now. point. The capture goes across. Order on the point. Order are your Overwatch contenders, Australia. Season 2, champion, back to back. Well, they say Dynasties rise and fall once again at Melbourne Esports Open in the Rod Laver Arena. We will see another Dynasty be born. This time, it is orders. What an absolutely incredible series we saw there. Time and time again, it looked like maybe Mind Freak would bring it back out on top, but it was not to be. We said before, this stage can make you nervous. This stage can change everything in order. They failed 12 months ago with the Melbourne Esports Open, but this time they are champions. They are your back-to-back -back champions. Ladies and gentlemen, put it together for the 2019 Overwatch Contenders Season 2 Champions, Order!